Are you ready for this bonus? Drop a sunflower if you want me to share with you the best way to make peace with your past, with calm and with ease, y'all. Okay. So the best way to make peace with your past, with calm and with ease, because when you have calm and you have ease, consistency is way more achievable. I'm going to keep it simple for you. Embrace it. Embrace the discomfort that comes from seeing yourself. It's going to feel uncomfortable to go in the past and see yourself and see how you acted. Embrace it. Be okay with it. Be okay with it right now. Think about that thing that's in the past, that already feels uncomfortable to look at, and be okay being uncomfortable right now. Embrace the decisions you made and see the power in them. It's very easy to look in the past, especially when we're not happy with it, and judge our decisions and, and see ourselves as bad decision makers. There's power in every decision you've made. Whether you see it or not, go there, embrace it, and go look for the power. See, if you go looking, you're going to find it. Embrace the outcomes that you experience and learn as much as them from learn as much from them as possible. When we experience outcomes, we'd be like, oh, I only want the outcome if it, feels, if it felt good. I only want the outcome if I like the outcome. There's a lot of learning in the outcomes that we don't like. I didn't want to be bullied when I got to the States. And look at how many beautiful outcomes I got from that experience. There is beauty in the things we don't like. So embrace the outcomes you experience and learn from them as much as possible. Embrace where you are no matter what. You gotta embrace it. Embrace that you are in this place and that this place feels a little uncomfortable. And also it feels really encouraging because you see how much you've grown. You see how much progress you've made. Embrace that you are here. Embrace that this is a place that you prayed for at a certain point in your life. Embrace that you are allowing yourself to be in this space no matter what. Embrace it. That is the best way to make peace with your past with ease and with flow. Embrace it. In the next video, in the next video, we're going to step into next week. Ooh. Next week, y'all, our theme, you know, I realized I haven't even been sharing with y'all what the theme is. If you're watching this video, the theme is Know Thyself for this week. <laughs> she's getting, she's just getting, she's getting her, she's getting herself into it. She's just, just learning. She's learning. She's learning and just growing. So next week, we're going to be kicking off our week three. And for week three, we are going to focus on, let me see, what's our theme for week three, y'all? Let me see if I can pull this together for my notes. Week three, where are you? Uh, here we are. So week three is going to be all about facing your power. And we're going to kick off with... Why nothing you've been through will be wasted. Oh, this is going to be a really yummy video because sometimes we think that what we've been through was a waste. And I'm here to tell you that's not true. Nothing you've been through has been wasted. And we're going to unpack that in the next video. So make sure you're through. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you for joining me today and being a part of the conversation. Those of you that are submitting your applications to work with me, I am excited to see you on the other side. We're going to have a vibe. It's going to be a whole vibe. My name is Yanori Pounsel. I am the go-to guide in light to thought leaders and conscious high achievers being the best version of themselves, trusting their intuition, cultivating their inner peace, and enjoying their lives every step of the way. And I'm here to make sure that you see things clear, that you see things clearly. Thank you for joining me today. Remember that you are a vibe and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hasta luego mis amores.